hello guys in this video i'm going to show you an easy way to find the rms and average values of any waveform in this video we are going to solve four past questions and i'm also going to give you some questions you may like to try your hands on at the end of the video okay so let's solve the first question now for this question we are asked to find the average and rms values of this waveform now for this waveform, we have an amplitude or a peak value of three. And then we realize that from zero to six, we have this structure, which repeats itself from six to 12. So we know that for the first cycle or for one cycle of the wave, it spans from zero to six. So this is one cycle of this waveform. And then from 0 to 6, we have the period. Of course, this is a periodic wave because it spans from 0 to 6 and we see it repeating itself from 6 to 12 and so forth. So the period of this signal is equal to 6. Now let's find the average value. Now the average value of the waveform is giving us the area under the waveform divided by the period of the signal. Now let's consider from 0 to 6. Now from 0 to 4, we have a triangular wave. And then from 4 to 6, we have nothing here. So let's focus on this structure. Let's focus on the triangle. Now, the area of a triangle is equal to, or is given by, half times the base times the height. Now, the base of this triangle is from 0 to 4. So, the base is 4 minus 0, which is 4. And then we are going to multiply by the height of this triangle, which is the amplitude of the wave that is 3 so we have 3 now 4 times 3 is 12 and then half of 12 is 6 so we have the area of the triangle to the 6 now to find the average value is going to be the area of this figure which is the 6 divided by the period of the signal which spans from 0 to 6. So the period is 6. So 6 divided by 6 is equal to 1. So this is the average value of this waveform. Now let's move ahead and find the RMS value. Now the RMS value of this waveform or any waveform is equal to the square root of the signal power. Now we all know that power is equal to energy over time. So it's going to be the energy of the signal divided by the time or the period of the signal. So now let's talk about the energy of some standard waveforms. So we are going to talk about three figures or three waveforms. So first of all, let's talk about the rectangular or the square wave. So let's say you have a rectangular or a square wave. You have the period from 0 to T. And then between this, we have tau. That is from 0 to T. And then the amplitude of the signal is A. Now the energy of this signal is simply the amplitude squared times the period which is tau don't forget that tau is from 0 to t so now let's talk about the second waveform so if you have a half triangle then the energy of this signal is equal to the amplitude squared 
times the period divided by three and then if you have a full triangle it's also the same as this so that is the amplitude squared times the period divided by three so these are the energy of the standard waveforms or some standard waveforms so based on this we can simply find the rms value of this waveform now for this waveform we have from zero to four we have this triangle and then this part is clipped so we have nothing here so we are going to focus on this structure or this triangle now to find the energy of this triangle or this waveform we are going to use this formula that is the amplitude squared times the period divided by three so we have the amplitude to be three so we have three squared times the period which is from zero to four so times four divided by three now three squared is nine and nine times four is 36 so 36 divided by 3 is 12 so this is the energy of this signal and then we are going to divide by the period the period of the signal so the energy divided by the period is equal to 12 divided by 6 which is from we have from 0 to 6 so that's going to be 2 so we are going to fix this two under the square root so the rms value of this waveform is equal to the square root of 2 which is equal to 1.4142 so this is how to find the average or the rms value of such a waveform now let's solve the second example or the second question now in the second example or for the second question we are going to find the rms and then the average value of this waveform now we have the period we have the cycle from 0 to 10 and then the period is also 10 so we have ts or t you can simply say t which is the period to be 10 and then we have a trapezium from 2 to 8 and then a triangle from 8 to 10 now let's not forget that we have the amplitude of this to be negative 10 okay so this is negative 10 okay so let's divide this structure so that we have this as a1 that is area 1 area 2 and then area 3 so we know that the average value is equal to the area under the waveform divided by the period of the signal so let the area be equal to that is the total area to be equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 now a1 a1 is a triangle okay so we know that the triangle the area of a triangle is half times the base now the base is from 2 to 4 so 4 minus 2 is 2 times the height which is 10 the amplitude of the signal and then plus we have a2 to be a rectangle so area of a rectangle is the length times the breadth so we have the length to be from 4 to 8 so 8 minus 4 is 4 so we have 4 times 10 and then for the last one we also have a triangle so half times the base now the base is from 8 to 10 so 10 minus 8 is 2 so 2 times the height which is negative 10 so times negative 10 
so half times 2 is 1 so 1 times 10 is 10 and then plus 4 times 10 is 40 and then half times 2 is 1 and then 1 times negative 10 is negative 10 so 10 minus 10 is 0 and then we have 40 so the area is equal to 40 now since the period is 10 then the average value is equal to 40 divided by 10 which is equal to 4 so we have 4 volts so now let's find the RMS value we know that RMS value is equal to the square root of the signal power which is equal to the square root of the energy of the signal divided by the period of the signal that is t so now we have a triangle a rectangle and a triangle now we know that the energy of a triangular waveform is given by the amplitude squared times the period divided by 3 so let's make this e1 okay so for e1 we have 10 so 10 squared times the period is from 2 to 4 so which is 2 because 4 minus 2 okay then divided by 3 so 10 squared is 100 times 2 which is 200 divided by 3 so we have 200 over 3 then e2 e2 is amplitude squared times period so that is 10 squared times 4 because we have from 4 to 8 and then 8 minus 4 is 4 so 10 squared is 100 times 4 which is 400 and then e3 is also a squared t or tau and then we have negative 10 squared times 2 so that's also going to be 200 over 3 okay so now let's add the energies or the energy of the various waveforms so we have 200 over 3 plus 400 plus 200 over 3 so 200 over 3 plus 400 plus 200 over 3 is equal to 1600 over 3 so that is the total energy of the individual signals so we are going to divide by the period so we have 1600 over 3 divided by 10 we have t to be 10 so that's basically 1600 divided by 3 times 10 so 1600 divided by 30 is equal to 160 over 3 so let's put this value under the square root so the rms value is the square root of 160 over 3 and then the square root of 160 divided by 3 is equal to 7.30 so that is the rms value of this waveform so these are some questions you may like to try your hands on and then we also have the values or the answers attached to them.